Hey guys, Sri Lanka Sammy here, and we are going to do a solar power update. So I am at the solar. Uh, we got here. It's been about a month, and I'm just going to show you some of the things that I learned over the last month. Uh, we are in uh, the power is on, and it's going to shut off in about 10 minutes. It is an overcast day today, so right now. It is uh, being charged by on-grid. It is charging, and there's about a 10% load. 29 means fully charged. 20 means 50% charge. So today's an overcast day, and we're still getting 21, 22 amps of power from the solar panels. Now, they recently came in and did an adjustment Okay, to change the power rating, uh, the charging rating, uh, so that it charges to about 70%, um, so that the batteries can hold about 70% uh, charge. So that uh, the, rea the reason is because uh, if you charge it to 100%, it reduces the lifespan of the batteries. So what we're gonna do is we'll probably uh, I've already ordered two more batteries. I'm going to try for four, and we're we're building a shelf for a cupboard for these to get them off the floor and get them covered. Um, so let me. I showed you what's going on here, and what's going on here with the solar power. So look at that, thirty close to 30 amps and that's probably because the sun just came out okay so let's take a look in about 10 minutes when the power goes out okay be right back yeah so the sun did come out and as you can see it is an overcast day today and the power is about to go out in, a, in about two minutes so let's take a look over here and see what's going to happen when the power goes out. So let's go back to here. So what you'll see is, you'll see this go to zero. The alarm will pop on and it'll change to AC mode, I think. But what'll happen is this will stay the same. So what'll, what's what'll be happening is, is that the, um, instead of being charged by the solar and the grid, because the grid is off, it will start, depending on how much of a load there is, it will start to uh, use the battery as well as the solar, if the solar can't keep up with the load. So we should be heading over into that power cut in just a minute. So we haven't had any problems or issues with the solar power. Um, so um, what was I gonna say? Um, during the daytime when there's a power cut, like it's now 10, 10.30 a.m. on a Sunday. And when the power goes out during the daytime, we never have an issue. Um, there's a little blip, but it's supposed to be like a non-issue, but I do have my computer hooked up to a uh, uninterrupted power supply surge protector so that it does uh, protect my computer from any kind of uh, surge. During the power cut, we cannot use uh, aircon, uh, microwave, vacuum cleaner, washing machine, dryer, anything like that that uses a lot of wattage. And the, uh, I've been told by the uh, solar power company that it should be about four hours of minimal use. If the power cut at night is more than four hours, we should unplug the fridge because that uses the most power and try to reduce as much electrical use as possible to maintain the battery for fans and computer or whatever I need. So, um, I mean, I don't need my computer at night, 
but you know um, it's just a, a, a not a not a safety thing but convenience factor are you going to use the electricity or not so let's see let me just come right back when the well, I'd like you to see what happens so I'm gonna just keep this on uh, the company that uh, installed, a lot of you are asking uh, for information about the company. Uh, I'm going to say right now that I will um, recommend that you contact a larger company because this provider, although they were um, okay in my opinion, um, they're a very small company and don't have the resources for customer service or after service or uh, support. It's taken a long, 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 long time to get after service, to get customer service. So um, I think about a month for them to come in and explain to me how the system works. When I constantly asking, uh, you know, um, understandably they're busy, understandably they have other things to do, and there's, but I think it's because they're a small company. I don't know if it's the Sri Lankan way, I don't know if it's just this one company, but I think, and I'm assuming that they're a small company, I came into the picture after the service was bought. Um, this was bought just before I moved to Sri Lanka. Uh, or the initial consultation. So as you have seen in the first video, which I'll link right here, um, the installation was purchased in February, sorry, the product was purchased in February and then was um, not installed until, uh, what are we in? July, so May, end of May, so March, April, May, three months, and all because of this box. So the first things that came in were the solar panels and the uh, equipment, and the wiring was all done. That was done within a month. Then the batteries came in on the second month, and then this one piece, the inverter from China, this is the one that took the longest. All right, so the power is gone. You didn't hear anything, you didn't see anything because it's daytime. And what's happening is that the solar power is providing the electricity. So it just switched like that. You didn't hear anything, there was no alarm because the power is sufficient, right? So you can see it's hovering between 28.5 and 28.4, 29 is full charge. Batteries are at full charge. So if it goes down to 20%, 20 volt, that means that the batteries are at 50%. Okay, and that's when the system shuts off because the batteries should not go below 50% for their longevity. So right now there's no input coming in from the grid because the grid is turned off. But we're outputting, right? and we're still getting electricity from the sun. So there is the solar power system. And as you can see, the lights are working, all right? Uh, lights are working. It's sunny outside. You can see it's, it's, uh, it's overcast and sunny. So, and you know, all my computers are, are working. All my, everything is working. I have a UPS, right? So that's what is, uh, powering my computer right now. Let me turn on a light there. Hold on. There we go. That's what's uh, not not powering. That's what's securing my computer right now. So um, like I said, I don't have any issues with the uh, solar power. The I haven't had any problems with the solar power. I do have issue with the customer service. Um, those of you who are interested in getting solar power, the problem is there are no, there is no imports, there's no product. 
So my suggestion, and I'll say this again, is contact a large company. The pricing has just doubled. Okay, so I don't know if it's possible even to get solar power these days because all the existing stock has already been used up and then there's no imports. Okay, so contact a large company first and then find out what's going on. Uh, I will recommend solar power, absolutely. And I will recommend what's called off-grid. Don't worry about this feeding power back into the grid or whatever. Uh, off-grid is purely storing electricity in batteries to use when the power is off. I had someone said, oh yeah, but on-grid is cheaper. Yeah. On-grid reduces your electrical usage when you are on the system. When the system goes off, you have no electricity because there's no batteries in this in the in the on-grid system. And a hybrid system is both. Okay? So we have a hybrid system, I think, or an off-grid system, which means that when the power goes off, I have electricity stored in batteries. You need three things. You need batteries, you need solar panels, and you need an inverter. You need those three things. There's another system where, like I said, I, I can't remember whether it's hybrid or whatever it's called, where the excess power, once the batteries are fully charged, <coughs> excuse me, and then the solar power also has feeding into the system where you... Your batteries are full and you're only using a little bit of electricity and the solar power can charge that, you're not paying the electrical grid. And then the excess power goes to the electrical grid and you get paid for that. That system is too complicated. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it requires the electrical company to come out and test everything and fix everything and it just, it's it's especially in Sri Lanka, going through the bureaucracy that I went through just to get my driver's license, I don't know how long that would take. So um, I would suggest for, for a, a house like this, a three bedroom, four, well, our house is one, two, three, four, five bedroom house, but a family of four, a family of four uh, using fans and, and, and uh, lights, I would say minimum four panels, minimum four batteries. Six panels and six batteries is absolutely what you should go to guarantee you four to six hours of battery power when the power goes out. So, um, yeah, that's my suggestion. That's my opinion. Uh, please stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Thank you again for watching, liking, sharing. Sri Lanka Sammy, living life. I'm out.